first, I want to thank you. I've been talking about this ban a lot on the show. And I said, anybody who is opposed to changing the rules, I'd love to understand why. So I appreciate you coming on. Explain this to me. Why do you think we should leave the rules as they are? Thank you very much. Well, I was surprised to hear that I violated the ban. Uh, I think that at one point I was uh, two or three weeks uh, late in reporting something, but the, the essentially the law is now that was passed uh, by Louise Slaughter, a dear friend of mine from the Rules Committee. Uh, and it says that within 30 days, all stock transactions need to be reported. And I believe members of Congress do that. It may be 10 days late, perhaps it's a Christmas break or something. It is important that we have the confidence of the American people. It is important that we follow the laws of this country. And it is important that we follow the rules of the House of Representatives. But I think that this is a populist move, just like when there's a government shutdown, people pop up and say, we shouldn't take a paycheck. If you don't wanna pay, take a paycheck, don't take a paycheck. If you want to put this in a blind trust, put it in a blind trust. I think what we're doing works. I follow the rules. Others follow the rules. I think that there is one member that refuses to follow the rules, and they are going through the ethics committee at this point. They need to follow the rules. But no one's complaining that members of Congress make exactly to the penny what we made 18 years ago. No one is concerned about how much money members of Congress make. And we do our job. But this is an issue that is a populist notion popping up. I was chairman of the National Republican Congressional Committee during the 2010 cycle. We talked about the issues that affect Americans, not the things that impact someone that no one ever talks to you about. So I would doubt that we will use this as a campaign ploy in this next election. So you think Kevin McCarthy is a guy who's leaning into a populist move? No, look, I think Kevin McCarthy is, is doing a job to win back the majority. I'm sure that this is just like I was asked by a reporter, and I did say, I think, it, I think it's of all the things that we have to consider, I think we have enough rules and regulations. I think Mr. McCarthy would understand, as well as Tom Emmer, who's head of the campaign committee, the National Republican Congressional Committee, let's talk about inflation. Let's talk about the border. Let's talk about the lack of support for our law enforcement. To bring this in as an issue when it's not one of the top 50 would be uh, an unremarkably silly idea, in my opinion. We can talk about all of those things, but as far as how much members of Congress are paid, limiting what you can invest in doesn't necessarily impact that, right? Like, you could put it in a blind trust. Right now, the way the rules are written, you have access to information that the public does not. Why is it okay for you to use that information, sensitive information, to enrich yourselves? If I was an officer of a publicly traded company, I couldn't take information I knew about that company and then trade the stock. Well, I think I think that for you to assume that that's true would would be a violation of the law by someone to give insider information. I've only been a member of Congress for 22 years and I have never received information like that. I do know that we had a member of Congress who sat on a board who did receive that. He was found guilty. He used insider trading. But members of Congress, even when we receive classified briefings, unless it's only two or three people in a room, we learned everything on the TV that we knew. I don't think that it's fair to say that members of Congress have all this private information. We don't. S and sir, you don't on, think that members sir. of Congress knew the severity of COVID, the pending shutdowns, what we were facing overseas, what we were facing. You don't think that members of Congress knew that before the general public? Because that information made members of Congress millions and millions of dollars just knowing what to invest in and what not to. Well, I'd like to see the member of Congress that made a lot of money. Because the facts of the case are Everybody could have figured it out. I, sitting in my home, figured out this was going to be the thing that had been talked about. We already know that China has a huge problem. 
But who could have predicted that this will last as long? And I wonder who's made millions of dollars because the stock market made money because Republicans passed a tax cut. And that's why people made money. Well, the stock market made money for a number of reasons, one of which the only game is in town, rates being at zero, so you've got to invest in stocks. But the argument that if we don't change the rules, we should just enforce them, but the rules are really flimsy. Right now, you only have to pay 200 bucks if you don't report. 200 bucks when you could be making hundreds of thousands, if not millions. No, I, no that's not the point. It, you still have to report this. If you don't report it, you go to ethics committee. $200 is if you turn it in late without some reasonable excuse. The bottom line is, is that even if it is in a blind trust and someone else is making the decision, I get to look and see what's in there. Yes, but an ethics violation doesn't have any real consequences. Well, okay. I, all I'm suggesting to you is I, 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 I don't find where all these people are making millions of dollars. I, I just don't. And, and the, the other side of the coin is I don't play the stock market. I don't day trade. I'm busy. I'm busy all day, every day. But I have not received, and once again, I've only been around 22 years. I have not received this critical information. The other side of the coin is no one's really allowed to come busy in the Capitol and hasn't been allowed to for a year. This is a populist idea. I got asked, what do you think? And I was a part of the first one in working with Louise Slaughter. And we tried to design it to where there was accountability, not to where we stopped people from having the responsibility of doing the right thing and then having the eye there to report. And I think that this is important. But even if I put it in a blind trust, I can still see what's in there because the report has to be manufactured.